That's Take where off. my fucking craziness ends. International stuff. What it do you mean you won't do it? Me, it? Petrifies me to death. Why? You mean to I just to perform? Have like this everything. Or to get there specifically, Listen, like the travel. <laughs> I tr I test. I tried Jamaica twice, <laughs> and I tried Puerto Rico. I could go there. <laughs> What's wrong know. with with why? What happened in Jamaica? It just creeped me the fuck out. The <laughs> island creeped you everything, out? Everything. Everything. The food. The Were you there island. for vacation or for work? One time on vacation, one day to shoot a movie. The rest and I got of the world fired. is in Jamaica, though. There's like other parts. Yeah, but I How know can Jamaica I, be bad? Isn't it like, it's like a home of reggae I the, music? I saw the chickens and, and shit. I'm picking Rasta, up the food. Rasta, The chicken tastes weird. The food tasted <laughs> they weird. They have Jamaican jerk I chicken. Know, I, know they got, I don't like none of that I've shit. I've never heard that before. I went to Jamaica and it turned me to like all no. international travel. You're like, I'm never going anywhere. I'm so scared <laughs> because of my felonies and everything. I'm so scared to go international. They lock me abroad and shit. So I just leave it alone. I'm pretty like I don't have a passport, but in many ways I don't want one. <laughs> like when they told me you couldn't have a passport, I'm like, fine, I ain't gonna fucking do it. It's not like I'm going to Ireland. To what lock felonies? You, you still well, if you have a felony on your record, is that there forever? Oh, it's like herpes. Unless uh, <laughs> I get rid of it. I don't know why I thought maybe like it goes away for good service. Like you know, after I've so got many two years. felonies in Colorado and like. Two in Seattle. What are they? The the ones in Colorado are second degree burglary and accessory to a felony. The one in Seattle is like a, a something to domestic violence, which I didn't smack no no woman. I when believe you, that. When you let's say you and Lee live together. Okay. So and I was your a ex great boyfriend. Dream, obviously. And I, I was you, your ex boyfriend. Yeah. And I saw you out in a bar and we got into a fight, it'd be domestic violence. That's why Wait, I'm, if I'm out with Lee and, oh, and I run into you at a, at bar, a bar and we get in a fight? I think if he lives with you. Oh, because you're my ex boyfriend Yeah, right? that's what happened. Oh. So, oh, no, no, it was a horror show, but still that domestic violence oh, thing bug, bugged me out for a long time. And then there was like a simple assault charge at a bar. I got busted at uh, the Comedy Underground in Seattle. Like if you walk into the Comedy, if you call Ron Reed at the Comedy Underground and go, I'm coming through, can I do a guest set? you got a guest set. Ron's, Ron's yeah. a, a manager, yeah. a comics comic type deal. Lee, you're looking backwards. Oh, I'm going through <laughs> changes right now. This is changes. I'm yeah. enjoying hearing all the felonies. This, this is, is fascinating deep to me. Yeah. What's this up? is deep. Wait, the second yes, one. The second one. You said you were. Uh, uh, you were. What is it called when you help someone else with a their accessory? To yeah, a you were an accessory. What were you an accessory to? What kidnapping. Was what? Kidnapping. How are you an accessory to kidnapping? Because this is all the same uh, crime. The, the whole kidnapping thing with Ken Vella. I, my attorney plea bargained down the second degree burglary, an accessory to a felony. <laughs> it's now all the, one crime. Now, the accessory to okay. a felony. I think is you're the one of the first people to find this out on mushrooms. Listen to me. The accessory to a felony is very interesting <laughs> because that's what fucked. That's how he fucked them. Because the court, everybody said, accessory to what felony? <laughs> the second degree burglary or the kidnapping? And he would say the second degree burglary, and it's nonviolent. Because his job was to get it nonviolent. It's a long fucking Wait, story. so were you convicted, though? Oh, yeah. I got locked up and everything. Oh, but he had a great case. Is he, did a great, he, he did, did a great, a great job. job. I was looking at kidnapping one confusing. and two. I'm looking, at, <laughs> I'm looking at kidnapping one and two. If I take it to trial and I lose, it's 48 years Holy times two. Shit. I never see daylight. The first offer was 12 or 14. Wow. Then they went to nine for f kidnapping. And I was like, nine for kidnapping means I do nine Are you years. terrified? I would be. Not terrified that's because my I, worst thought, I thought at that time I was going to split. Oh. Like I thought at that time I'd split or do something as it got closer. I was out on bail. Oh so my I, God. at least if you get out on bail, you could fucking think and negotiate. How in the world would you split? You're just going to like hike into Mexico? I didn't know what <laughs> I was going to do. I had a friend Holy that shit. had a. I had a friend that had a uh, Hertz dealership in Honduras, and there's no extradition treaties with Honduras. This is, I had friends that were just trying to help me out. Oh my god! But the more I thought about it, I'm like, you have to run with this the rest of your life. You know, you one day you come, come back. back to the states, yeah. you have a wife, a kid, a family. You get into a car accident, take it to the hospital. You're wanted for fucking two thousand years. Yeah, you can that never come back. That goes your whole life. So forget yep. about that shit. But then this attorney just worked miracles, and I talked it out, and I said, you know what, I did it. I always knew I was going to go do time. I knew, I knew, I knew it was in my cards. I knew I was going to get it. I might as well do this and get it over. And that was it. Wow. What and was it like? 
I'm so I don't know why I'm fascinated by like what really goes on in prison because you see movie and you know movies and TV, but I don't. That's probably not real. Like, what is it really? On is the it scary? outside, nothing. On the outside, nothing. I, I I knew I was gonna get in this. All I could wish for was every day that I you know there was crazy people in there. Even when I got to the camp. There were people in there that had been there for murder, man. You know, they, they still have those tendencies, and now there's a thin line for what respect is in the outside and what respect is inside with people. Yeah. There's a weird uh, thing in your mind. You know, there's a lot. So I just kept to myself. You know, I had a friend that had gotten into trouble, and I took him out to lunch a bunch of times, and he hooked me up. He called the prison and talked to the one guard. He goes, this is my buddy. He was well... He was rich, this guy. Mm. His name was Ed Kabash. He was a bad motherfucker. He was a, a geek that became a, a drug millionaire. He had started hanging out with this chick who knew about drugs, and he, be, he made money, and then wow. he crashed two cars in one week. He had a liquor store, a <laughs> computer <Luxury>. store. <laughs> oh, yeah, he had two chicks. He was wow. They were driving Porsches. I mean, this guy was banging. Now, that sounds nice. But when he got locked up, he paid a lot of money to get taken care of. He paid a lot wow. of money. Wow! So you can really pay of. people. He paid people a lot on the of money. To How get interesting! Taken care Did of. you pay money to get taken care a of? A little bit. Really? Like a couple people. Just like when I got in, they told me what to do, and I thought I took care of. You them seem the like a guy that would very quickly move up, though, and be running your own little ring. No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I tried to keep because you don't want to step on nobody's toes. Right. When I got to my final destination, yeah, I was having a great fucking time. Really? Yeah. You were yeah. having fun? Yeah. You're the first, you're the first person that. I've ever heard say they were having fun in jail. I mean, you can look at it two <laughs> fucking ways. You can look at it from two fucking ways. I had no, re you know, I was working in a kitchen. I had access to food. Yep, yep. Which meant people wanted to talk to me because I had access to food. Oh, they yeah, wanted, of they course. They wanted cheese to make nachos. They wanted this. Oh. They like skim milk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you winking at me on purpose or are you hot? No, I'm just, okay. I'm just <laughs> like going like, you know. I'm like, like, is this coat? It's all this food coat. So you get favors. Yeah. You follow Got me? It. Okay. You yes. get favors. Yeah. You know, like yeah. the guys that work in the garbage crew. Yeah. Listen, my girlfriend's going to drop off a pair of panties on the exit over there. <laughs> That's the kind they, of favors? Yeah. Like oh, crazy I think like shit. cigarettes. No, no, like maybe. Uh, <laughs> Listen, you like to do coke? How about I give you an eight ball? Okay. Got go it. To, Got go it. to this spot. There's a bag. There's going to be coke in there. Put it down And your dirty bowl. panties. They, yeah. don't, they don't search you, you know, on the way back or something. Okay. Just think, once you have those type of jobs, people. Yeah. So, like, I had friends that would come to me and go, my wife brought me tamales, bro. Can you put them in the freezer for me? I'll give you two right off the top. Bam. Oh, Shit nice. Shit like that. I had access to a freezer. The hook. I had access to a, a property. Uh, 60 yards from the main facility so the guys that were selling steroids and shit would say to me you have a stash over there we'll pay you some money you know we, we got some heroin so I would put it somewhere where I couldn't get in trouble for it what I would put it somewhere where it's wow. not in my car but I'm watching it but not really mm. So if there was crates outside and the garbage men had to pick them up, I would stash the heroin under a crate or something so nobody got in trouble. Oh, my God. It could always be the garbage man. There's always That's a... so risky, though. There's always a doubt. You were involved in dangerous activity. You could have been taken out. No, I wasn't. On the inside. Shanked. No, I wasn't. Shanked. No, I wasn't. I was fine. It wasn't like that at all. They were like low-level dudes, but... But heroin still, is a high-level drug. It was, there was a guy that was a biker that I became friends with. But I still think about him. He's a solid fucking white dude. <laughs> solid white dude. Just still, a fucking I still banger. Think, I, would think about, I still think about him late at night. And uh, he <laughs> used to get meth every Monday from his girlfriend. His girlfriend would come in and swap spit with him with a condom and fill it up with fucking mm -hmm. meth. It, like two eight balls and like a little condom. Every and Monday? It every oh. Monday. Oh, wow. And he would put it over here in his mouth and walk in. He oh, wouldn't no. even swallow oh, and shit. Oh, wow. They would search him and fucking he'd come in and he'd call me over to his room and we'd do a little line of met. And then we'd go play basketball in the gym. And I thought I was fucking Julius serving. My heart was going <laughs> to blow up. There oh, was my a lot, God. You know, I still think of those guys. Torrey Piles, the black dude that was a high-level crip. He had seven fucking girlfriends. And each of them had a different fucking Porsche. 
Mercedes. It was amazing how on much the money. Outside. On the outside. Seven girlfriends. But how long was he Three in Three kids. For? He was in there for 12 or 13 years. He was... What? But he got Paying out. Paying for seven girls? He got, he got... Oh, this motherfucker <laughs> was making cash in there. That's crazy. This is when the Crips were what going do, from California to Colorado and distributing cocaine. What do you need seven girlfriends for in jail, though? Because he was big dick pimping. Do That's they the have conjugal is. visits at this jail? Yeah. They, oh, they, oh. <laughs> What the fuck are you giggling about? No. <laughs> Why did you like him? What did he, he did an error. I knew a second ago, but now <laughs> keep just keep going. Went from where you told it, because then okay. <laughs> you know that little forehead you got. <laughs>